Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. This month we are doing something a little bit different to our normal videos and we have set ourselves a challenge. This month's challenge is to reduce the amount of waste that me and Cal produce and try our hand at being zero waste. You have joined us two months into our year-long European van life adventure and what better place to start our zero waste challenge than Germany. Germany is well known for its environmental policies, recycling and renewable energy. People here are a lot more environmentally conscious and we are hoping that that will make our lives slightly easier in making the changes that we need to be successful. So what is zero waste? Zero waste is a movement focused on the prevention of waste. Its aim is to send nothing to landfill and nothing to the incinerator and there's a 5R rule to help people achieve that. Refuse what you don't need and prevent it from entering your home. Reuse what you already have, like jam jars, water bottles and bags. Recycle. This doesn't count towards being zero waste and should be used as a last resort. Reduce what you need and assess your consumer habits. And rot. Food waste should be collected and composted. We want to take more responsibility for the waste that we create. Living in a tiny home, we seem to notice how often we need to get rid of our waste and find recycling bins. And we also want the health and money-saving benefits that the movement can create. We also want to play our part in preventing plastics from entering our seas and polluting them, and we don't want to fall victim to consumerism. So we're going to start with a bin audit to understand our waste and see where we need to make changes. So we're going to tip it out and separate it into different materials and start our very own compost pot and also create a tally. Going through our week's worth of waste has shown us how much we send to landfill. This gives us an opportunity to assess what types of waste material we create and now decide how we can avoid them. Our worst offenders were plastic wrappers and packaging for crisps, chocolate bars and noodles. So what are we going to do about it and what changes will we be making? After looking at our waste, we have decided on nine lifestyle changes that we will be implementing. We will no longer buy plastic wrapped food or items. We must find alternatives or go without. We will be eating fresh and simple using the limited equipment that we have. Meal planning and creating shopping lists will help too. We will limit our recycling, only using the tins that we already have bought and use less milk and juice cartons. We will collect food scraps and veg peelings in an airtight tub and use brown bins to dispose of it. Germany has its own Perfan deposit scheme for glass, plastic and aluminium. We will be hunting these products out and using them as alternatives. We must carry shopping bags, tubs, jars and water bottles daily and be prepared for the shopping trips. We will use packaging free stores, markets, delis, bakeries and butchers and take with us reusable tubs and jars. We will replace items responsibly as they run out with zero waste alternatives like deodorant and toothpaste. We will no longer buy new. We will shop second hand for clothing and other items. So that is our plan, let's see how the month goes. We have found plenty of packaging free shops, bakeries, butchers, delis and markets in Germany, meaning we have been supporting small businesses and local producers. We have found supermarkets surprising, offering plastic free veg, use your own egg boxes and having bakeries, butchers and deli counters available too. The food waste tub has been a great idea. Easy to dispose of in brown bins, but please make sure you ask permission first. Organisation is key. 
from researching zero waste shops and markets to making sure that you have your reusables every time you leave the van. We've been enjoying a healthier diet. The plastic ban means no crisps, chocolate bars or processed food. We've been eating a varied diet. I've been creating new recipes through improvisation and needing to be resourceful. Eating less meat and dairy has had economic benefits and will have long-term environmental benefits too. The Pafan scheme is a great idea that the UK should invest in. Living and travelling in the van has given us options and variety. Different towns have different shops and markets. One of our concerns about going zero waste would be the increased food costs, which we can confirm it did go up slightly to 280 euros, from the previous months being around 250 pounds or 260 euros. We have been eating fresh and quality food and plenty of it. However, we haven't been eating very much meat and dairy, which is normally where the costs are incurred. Throughout the month, it hasn't been plain sailing. We have had a fair few difficulties along the way. One issue that we faced is not all supermarkets are willing to put their produce into your tubs that you've bought into store. It seems to be against their policies. We have had to deny ourselves a fair few items during this month until we have found alternatives because meat, dairy and snacks always seem to come plastic wrapped. Traveling through Germany and not speaking German yeah, we've had a few issues with the language barrier, but we've learned a few key words and phrases and we've relied on Google Translate quite a lot. We've had to shop a lot more regularly. When going into bakeries, you have to be really quick with letting them know that you want the bread and the pastries in your reusable bags. Otherwise, before you know it, you've got new bags because they didn't realise that's what you wanted. I don't think it's a very common thing. Sometimes it's quite difficult in the van due to a lack of equipment. We have a two ring gas burner and a 12 volt cool box and that is about it. The zero waste lifestyle would be a lot easier in a traditional home environment. Not all profound items are universal. Sometimes they're regional and sometimes they're brand specific, meaning that they need to be taken back to the same supermarket brand or even back to the same area in which you bought it from. So that can make traveling in a van around the country slightly difficult when using the Pafan deposit scheme. We've also used a lot more gas this month than we have in previous months because we're cooking more and for longer. So after a month of doing the zero waste challenge, this was our general waste that we created. Now this is the stuff that would normally go into the general waste bin. Having a waste jar means no smelly bin bag to keep in the van that will attract flies. It is also a visual reminder of how much waste we produce and an incentive to keep it up. I think we've done pretty well, but alongside that we have got a slightly more significant bag of recycling. We have tried to limit recycling as much as we can, but the way we have chosen to live in our van it's going to cause a few issues cutting it out totally. It would mean we use more gas in regards to boiling up pulses and grains if they're dried instead of tinned and also we have no fridge, no blender and no juicer so we'd be without any sort of nut milk and juice so we're going to have to kind of keep that up a little bit until we find a glass alternative. We are pretty content with the efforts that we have made to reduce our waste but we are aware that we are nowhere near zero waste quite yet. The nine lifestyle changes were pretty simple to adopt and it meant planning ahead and being organised. This challenge has made me use my skills as a chef in thinking about different meals to create, being a bit more spontaneous and seeking inspiration from what's in the cupboards. Having the time to throw ourselves into this challenge has been great, but only made possible by the lifestyle that we have chosen. We have had to deny ourselves a few ingredients now and then and stand firm and it also made us look harder for alternatives. There is no way that we could go back to our old shopping habits and just disregard our newfound mindset. Buying plastic just feels so wrong and I think we'd now also feel guilty if we did do so. There are still things that we need to improve on to truly become zero waste. We strive for a more sustainable and responsible life. I think it's important to point out that we think it'd be a lot easier in a traditional home environment with an oven, a fridge, a freezer 
and storage room for everything. So going forward, we will continue to replace items with zero waste alternatives, such as deodorant, changing disposable razors for a safety razor, reusable cotton wool pads, and paper-based Q-tips. We will shop secondhand, but we haven't really had the need to yet. But with Christmas on the way, it's something that we want to change in a big way. A really helpful website that we've used is zerowastemap.org. It helps you locate your nearest bulk stores, zero waste stores, markets and bulk shops. This has helped us locate stores around Germany where we can do our food shopping. We've also used TripAdvisor and local tourist websites to help us locate markets. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video as we both think it's quite an important topic. If you'd like to ask us anything, feel free to write it down in the comment section below. And if you've got any tips to help us out or fellow zero wasters, please feel free to put it in the comment section below also. We want to get involved in the growing community and help raise awareness in the issues that we've brought up in our video today. Like, subscribe and share and click the bell button to receive notifications for every time we upload a video. Thank you very much for watching.